Hey guys, now that we have purchased SiteGround web hosting, I'm gonna show you how to get logged into your dashboard and configure all of the correct settings so that you're set up for success. Let's get right into it. Hey, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jake Full, and I built a six-figure blogging business all on the side while I was working my nine-to-five job, and I was able to quit my job and go full-time as an entrepreneur doing what I love every single day, and I wanna teach you exactly how to do the same. And so if that sounds interesting, make sure to click the link in the description below and sign up for my free 30-minute blogging masterclass. It's an entire overview of blogging and affiliate marketing and how easy it is to get your own website started, create a brand online, and start generating passive income every single month because I have built entire website templates in a box that you can import in less than one minute. And then I also have over 400 individual website templates that you can mix and match however you would like to create pages and blog posts 10 times faster than anybody else out there. And so make sure to click that link in the description below and get signed up for the free training. And let's get back to the video. So after you have purchased web hosting from SiteGround, you've put in all your billing information and paid, you're going to be sent to your dashboard, which is going to look something like this on my.siteground.com. And so we want to get into your website and configure a few settings first. So here under websites, I'm gonna click the manage button and you should be brought to a page that says my websites and you should have your domain name listed here. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use a temporary domain name that I created through SiteGround, which is really, really nice. You can actually create temporary domain names that are actually live for anybody to see if you would like, and you can use these to mess around or do whatever you'd like. And so I just have a temporary domain name here, but you'll just have your domain name listed here and then you're gonna click into the site tools button here. And depending on your setup, you might see a big scary alert that says that your DNS records are not pointed to SiteGround. Don't worry about this. We're actually going to get to this a little later, but first we're going to go in and configure a couple security settings. So on the left-hand side here in the menu, I'm gonna click on security and we're gonna to go to SSL manager. So I'm gonna click that. And what this is gonna do is it's going to install an SSL certificate on your website. So if you've ever gone to a website and it's a danger, this site is not secure, it's probably because their SSL certificate is not valid. And so configuring this is really, really easy it's completely free and it's something that SiteGround offers, which is really nice. And so where it says install new SSL here, you'll go into this dropdown and you should just see your domain name listed here. So I'm gonna choose that. And then where it says select SSL, I'm gonna click on that and we want the regular Let's Encrypt. So you just want the base Let's Encrypt. You do not want the wildcard one. So I'm just gonna choose Let's Encrypt here and I'm gonna choose get. All right, perfect. So the SSL certificate was successfully configured. You can see that it's installed now for my website and you'll also know it's successful. You'll see your domain name listed down here with the Let's Encrypt certificate and it'll say active. Now the next thing we need to do is enforce HTTPS on our website. And you can see that they have a configure HTTPS button here. This actually just links to a guide that shows you how to do it, but it's very, very simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the HTTPS enforce option on the left-hand side here. So I'm gonna choose this. And so here we are on the HTTPS enforce page. And all you have to do is just choose this option here to enforce HTTPS on your website. So you can see that that's successful. And what that does is it just ensures that a secure connection is made whenever someone tries to access your website. So that's great and it's super simple and we have all of the security settings configured for our website now. The next thing we're gonna do is just configure a couple of speed settings. So over on the left-hand side here, I'm gonna choose speed, and then I'm gonna click on the caching option. And so here on the Nginx direct delivery tab, just make sure that the toggle is enabled for your domain name here, and then we'll head over to the dynamic cache tab. This is automatically configured, and so all this button is gonna do is just flush the cache, so there's nothing that we need to do here, and then we're also gonna just jump over over to the memcache tab here. And on here, we wanna make sure that this toggle is enabled for all websites. So I'm gonna choose that. And you can see that memcache is now enabled for all websites, which is great. So what these settings do is they make sure that we have the foundation laid 
for when we use the SG Optimizer plugin. And the SG Optimizer plugin is a free caching plugin that comes with SiteGround plans. And it's really nice because it's included with those plans and it gives you a lot of options to give you a faster website, such as a bunch of front end optimizations and back end caching things. And I'll show you how to configure that in a later video, but just know that these are the settings that we need to set to make sure that that plugin is gonna work correctly. All right, so now we have our security and our speed settings configured for our website. You may notice that if you go to your website right now, it's not actually hooked up to anything. And that's because we need to go into cloud Cloudflare and we need to point Cloudflare to our SiteGround server. So now that we have a SiteGround web hosting plan and paid for a server, we need to tell Cloudflare where that server is located so that your site will be hooked up and you'll be able to see something. So for that, we first need your site's IP address. And so here I am back on the dashboard tab in my SiteGround account. And you can see if you scroll down here, here is your site IP address that we're gonna use. And so we're gonna copy that and bring it into Cloudflare, which I'll show you how to do. So here I am back in Cloudflare, and if you go to the Websites tab, which is the first one here, you should see your domain name listed here. And so I have Ethan Blackwell listed here, and I'm gonna choose that. And you can see it says, great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So everything that we did earlier is working and everything is hooked up, so that's awesome. And what we need to do to point Cloudflare to the SiteGround server is we need to configure a couple of DNS settings. And so over on the left-hand side here, you can see there's an option that says DNS. And so I'm gonna choose that. And so here on the DNS records page, I'm gonna scroll down until you see DNS management for yourdomain.com. And we're gonna click add record here. So to point Cloudflare to your server, we want an A record. And so that's what's defaulting. So we're gonna leave that at A. For the name here, it says you can use an at symbol for the root. So I'm gonna type an at symbol. And all that is, is it's your domain. So you can see that it filled in yourdomain.com points to this address. So it needs an address in here. So we're gonna go back to SiteGround and get your site IP address and plug it in here. So here I am back in SiteGround on the dashboard tab and here's my site IP address right here. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into Cloudflare. So back in Cloudflare here, I'm gonna go to the IPv4 address and I'm gonna paste that IP address right in here. And so now we have that added and you can see it kind of gives a little more human readable version of what this all means. So it says yourdomain.com points to this address, which is the IP address of your SiteGround server and has its traffic proxy through Cloudflare. And so we want to have this proxy status on, make sure that that is on, the TTL can stay at auto, and then we just are going to click save. Okay, perfect. So we have Cloudflare pointed to your SiteGround server now. There's only one more thing that we're gonna do in Cloudflare here, and we're going to add www. And so right now, with this one line, if somebody goes to www.yourdomain.com, it's not gonna know exactly what to do. And so we just have to add one really quick line here and that's gonna fix that issue. So we're gonna add one more record here. So I'm gonna click add record. This time we do not want an A record, we want a C name record. And so if I go to the type here and I click the drop down, you'll see that there's an option that says C name. And so I'm gonna choose that. Now here for the name, we wanna type www. And so you can see it's starting to print it out here. So it says www.yourdomain.com is an alias of whatever you type in the target. And so for the target, you're just gonna type your base domain name. So for this, I'm just gonna type ethanblackwell.com. And so you can see it says www.ethanblackwell.com is an alias of ethanblackwell.com and has its traffic proxy through Cloudflare. And we're also gonna keep that proxy status on and leave the TTL to auto, and we're gonna click save. So now what that will do is if somebody types www.yourdomain.com, it's just gonna resolve that and just go to the base domain, so yourdomain.com, and that's what I like. I think that that just looks a lot cleaner, and that just works perfectly now. So those are the only two records that we need to add in Cloudflare is that A record that points to your SiteGround server, and then the C name record of www pointing to your base domain.com. So now we're very, very close to done, but there's one more thing that we need to change. And if you actually go to your website right now, so here I am 
I'm on ethanblackwell.com. You might see this error that says the page isn't working. Ethanblackwell.com redirected you too many times. And this is an error I have run into many times, especially when I was a beginner and I never knew how to fix it. But there's one more thing we need to change in Cloudflare to fix this so that you now see something on your website. So we're gonna jump back to Cloudflare. And what we need to do is go to the SSL slash TLS option in the left-hand side here. So I'm gonna choose that. And if I scroll down here, you can see that it says your SSL slash TLS encryption mode is flexible. All we need to do is change that to full strict, which is the very bottom one here. So I'm gonna choose that. And that says that the setting was just changed a few seconds ago. It auto saves this option. And so I'm actually just gonna go back to the DNS and just make sure that that's saved. Okay, perfect. And now you'll be able to go to your website and you'll see a completely blank WordPress website set up from SiteGround and now we can get started into building your website out. So that's everything you need to do for SiteGround web hosting to get the correct security and speed settings set up. We also went into Cloudflare and pointed Cloudflare to your SiteGround server and set up www so that works on your site as well. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.